Lakers were struggling shooting. Jawan Roberts gave them a chance to win this game at the buzzer with his rebound. Josh Carlton, his first game in the starting lineup. He's up for the tip, and Louisiana has the first possession. The 5-4 and four Raging Cajuns under head coach Bob Marlin trying to pull the upset tonight in Houston. As Reed mentioned, Houston is a bit shorthanded tonight. No Marcus Sasser, no Reggie Cheney, no Tremont Mark, and a turnover on the first possession for Louisiana. Marcus Sasser described as turf toe by John Houston, the longtime trainer. Reggie Cheney is still in with the unusual hand injury, and Tremont Mark still dealing with the shoulder injury. You're coming up under emotional loss, and you don't have three of your top six players. Boy, this is a situation of its next man up for the Cougars. I look for Kyler Edwards to have a big game and also Josh Carlton. This is a great opportunity for him to continue his strong play as of late. Shed with the bounce pass to Carlton. Out to Tajay Moore. Moore with the mid-range floater. Moore gives Houston the lead. Look for the Raging Cajuns. They want to run. They, this is a huge team. They've got to play around also 6'11, but they go 6'11, 6'11, 6'9, 6'9, and they'll spread offensively. They'll spread out, and you see Jordan Brown down there working against Carlton. That's where they want to go. And quick double team, and he can expect to see that all night long. We saw the starting five for Louisiana. They're dealing with two injuries as well. One of their three 6'11 players, Theo Akuba, is out. Uh, they're trying to battle through that as we see the Houston lineup very different than Saturday night in Tuscaloosa. It's the first start of the season for Josh Carlton, sixth start of the year for Tajay Moore, and they join Edwards Shedd and Fabian Whites. Theo Kuba for Lafayette. He was the defensive player of the year last year in the Sunbelt Conference. And nice defensive start to this game for the Cougars. The other one who is out most likely is Brian Abudi. Sophomore from Mexico, as we see Calvin Sampson. He was questionable in my conversation with Bob Marlin this morning. He dealt with a knee surgery, twisted his ankle recently. Most likely won't play tonight. Carlton with the reverse, missed it. Gets his own rebound. Shed out for Kyler Edwards. And there's Moore tapping the rebound to himself. What an Good athletic awesome. play from Tajay Moore. Really nice play by Tajay Moore. You know, Josh Carlton working hard for that ball down low. High screen from Carlton. Shed, nice off the glass, but it rolls out. Another offensive rebound for Houston. Avian White spinning. Excellent defense at the left baseline. That's Duguay from Dakar, Senegal, transferred from Daytona State. So far this year, Bob Marlin's Raging Cajuns have been good on the boards. They've out-rebounded opponents of plus six, but they are not off to a good start on the glass to this one. They're already three offensive rebounds for the Cougars. Maybe in white from downtown, missed it, and that one is cleared. It was a clash of cultures in the eyes of Coach Sampson Saturday night. The Tide wanted to run. Houston wanted to defend and rebound. It was offensive rebounds for Houston. Transition points for Alabama. Another miss there. A slow start for Louisiana. Shot clock violation, turnover, and a missed layup. Excellent feed inside. Edwards for two. Now, what a great pass from Tajay Moore. That's an unusual pass in transition to go from the corner to the opposite side. A charge as they come down the floor. And now uh, defensively, I don't know where the Cougars are going to be on the offensive end, but defensively, they are dialed in right now. Watch this skip pass. This is really unusual. Go a skip pass to the other side underneath the basket. Uh, Raging Cajuns, if you're Bob Marlin, you're not going to be happy that that pass was allowed to be thrown. The charge was on Kobe Julian, redshirt freshman from Baton Rouge. Edwards with Moore. And no Marcus Sasser tonight, no Tremont Mark. Ooh, Josh Carlton calling for that ball. Moore from the corner. Tough rebound inside from Duguay. Then he lost it. It's Cajun basketball. Coach Sampson said this week this might be the tallest team they'll play this season. Duguay is six foot nine. They have three six to eleven players. One of those, Theo Akuba, is out. But it's a long team that's a good rebounding team. It, intentionally by Bob Marlin. It's interesting that all those years of Sam Houston State, he occasionally had one or two six eleven guys. But this team is really big at almost every position on the floor. 
Reach in foul on Carlton. Carlton's been very effective. 14.6 rebounds at Alabama. He is averaging nine points, four rebounds. This is his first start of the season after 10 off the bench. They're really good against Alabama. That 14 and six you were talking about, and he has made such good decisions with the ball. I, I really have been pleased. The, the Houston fans have been really pleased with the way Josh Carlton has been playing. Good fake, but a missed layup. That was the star, Jordan Brown. He had the really Hollywood sell of a fake three. Now as Edwards attacking off the window for two. That was strong. No, that was strong. He pulled that ball down, sought contact with the ball down, protected on his outside shoulder, was able to finish. In the prior possession, Jordan Brown really had the fake of the corner, but then he missed the six-footer. Jordan Brown at 30 points while dealing with foul trouble in the loss to Louisiana Tech on Saturday. Yeah, just 25 minutes he played in that game. Air ball from Duque, offensive rebound from Jordan Brown. The six foot 11 post player draws the double team. Shot clock violation. Let me tell you something, when, when you double team the post, the tendency is to throw a hook pass. If you do that, it's gonna be a turnover. Already four turnovers in the first hire all the last three or four days. And cannot say enough about the way Jamal Shedd represented himself, his family, his school, and all of us old guys also. Extremely proud uh, of how Jamal Shell conducted himself in the midst of unbelievable chaos at the end of that game. Well said, Reed. Jamal Shedd making Maynard High School and Maynard, Texas proud. He's an underclassman on this team too. In one of his first true road games as a starting point guard. After the media timeout, Cajuns looking for their first points and they get it. From the Senegalese forward, Duguay, transfer from Daytona State. Prior to that shot, Duguay was only two for 13 behind the line. Oh. And just to follow up on the video, what we saw, not the finest moment for Houston basketball, but Jamal Shedd putting a positive spin on it. And then word coming out today that Coach Kelvin Sampson called Greg Byrne, the athletic director at Alabama, and Nate Oates, the head coach, to apologize. Kellen Sampson apologizing on Twitter. I think a good move by both of those. Yeah, well, you could review that film and have a positive and a negative, right? The negative is, this is not how we conduct ourselves. And then the positive is, look at what Jamal Shedd did. That is how we conduct ourselves and how we represent. And right now, coming out of that last time out, Louisiana Live, Lafayette has found a little life on the offensive end. Feed for Carlton, who was fouled on his way up. Shedd had the feed. The prior three was from Kobe Julian. So Duguay and Kobe Julian both make threes. And from 6-0 down, it's a mini 6-0 run for the Cajuns. And it's interesting, Reed, as we look at that replay, you think of a team with three 6-11 players, another 6-9 player, and they're up-tempo, and it sort of makes you think about it. But he said his big players can run the floor, and they're not afraid to get up and down. Now they want to play this game in the high 70s, low 80s. They want to run it. You know, Josh Carlton is that type of player. He can run. Well, these numbers or what he's averaged so far really have not done justice, I think, to the contributions that Josh Carlton has made so far. Uh, he is going to be a key player in the success of this season. And right on cue, he shows you why. Gets his own rebound from the free throw line, then the dunk for Josh Carlton. Transfer from UConn. 115 games, 82 starts to the Huskies before coming to Houston. Open three, missed. That was Jalen Dalcourt. Corey Davis, his younger brother. Davis not here tonight. Playing pro basketball in Italy and Serie A. Edwards misses. Tajay Moore flying for the offensive rebound. He was fouled. Houston picking up where they left off on the offensive glass. That was a nice job of rebounding out of position. Watch the top of your screen. Look where Tajay Moore started from. He was in the dead corner and got that rebound in the front of the rim. As Samson said, it was a game of cultures. 18 transition points allowed by Houston against Alabama, but 19 offensive rebounds for Houston. Nine of those from Juwan Roberts. Open three, Jamal Shedd missed it. White taps the rebound to himself. Carlton back to Shedd. No Good look pass and a reach in foul. Yeah, look, Bob Marlin's got to be furious. 
uh, the Cougars, the, the Razor Cajuns are in position. They're making an initial contact, but they're not moving the players back. And that's got to be the seventh or eighth offensive rebound already in this game. Six offensive rebound in the first six and a half minutes. And uh, Bob Marlin's not going to be pleased with that. And Reed, you've known him a long time. You, there's a few things about Bob Marlin as we see Joe Charles for the first time today. It's rebounding and up-tempo, and they're usually going to score a lot of points. A uh, similar culture to what Kelvin Sampson's put in here in Houston. He predicates everything he does on toughness. You've got to be tough with the ball. You've got to be tough defensively. And uh, Bob Marlin, I am a big Bob Marlin fan. I have known him for years, and a long, successful run at Sam Houston State, and uh, he is an outstanding basketball coach. His ties to Houston go back to the 80s. He was an assistant at HBU for six years. There's a rejection from Carlton. Outlet to Fabian White. White has more, and Moore will throw it down. A game of runs. 6 nothing to open it for Houston. 6 nothing for Louisiana. Now a 5 nothing run for the Cougars. Tough rebound for Edwards. Edwards out to Shed, who is telegraphed. It's stolen by Greg Williams Jr. And he's fouled by Tajay Moore. Williams goes to the free throw line. Oh, man. Hey, look, I, I think the ref anticipated that was going to be a foul. Look how high Tajay Moore gets up. First, a pin on the backboard by Josh Carlton. Then in the open court, uh, a nice finish by Tajay Moore. But boy, the rundown on the other end of the court was spectacular. Here's Greg Williams Jr., one of four transfers in their first season at Louisiana, last three years at St. John's. And when we asked Coach Marlin about getting Jordan Brown, he lumped in the recruitment to Greg Williams. Williams is from Lafayette, Lafayette Christian Academy. They recruited him out of high school, going back to 2017. Now he's finally with Louisiana after three years at St. John's. You know, it's a testimony to relationships. And even if you don't get a kid, you keep that relationship and you don't burn bridges because you never know who might want to come back home after going to Nevada and Arizona and back in St. John's and then back home. And a testament to Bob Marlin and his coaching staff. White finds Tajay Moore. Moore attacking good ball fake. Missed it with the left hand, but a left-handed putback. Uh, Tajay Moore got away with an offensive foul. He took that right forearm and shoved off. That's now seven offensive rebounds, and Tajay Moore with four of them. There's Jalen Dahlcourt. Brown spinning and missing. White fighting for the rebound. Loose ball saved by Juwan Roberts. Here's Jamal Shet. Great crossover dribble. Edwards slashing to the basket. And an injury down by the court. That's Jalen Dalcourt immediately grabbing his left ankle. Yeah. To double A tournament. A tremendously respected in the state of Texas by high school coaches. I would assume it's the same from his decade plus years at Louisiana Lafayette. But he is a tremendous basketball coach, a, a fine gentleman. And boy, I, I consider him a friend. And he's one of the good guys in the profession. And he appreciated Houston taking this game. It was scheduled for last year, canceled due to the pandemic. Houston did not technically have to play, and they said, let's play. There's a miss three from the walk-on. Kentrell Garnett, his first minutes off the bench. Great story he is. A walk-on who has started a few games this season. He's a big piece this year. 22 in red for Louisiana. Jalen Dalcourt's over there on the bench. He's getting that ankle taped up. But boy, that looked like he came down hard on it. Maybe in white attacking and blocks. Jordan Brown, that's one part of his game. Coach Marlin said he could improve. He could block a few more shots at on cue. The star Brown with the rejection. Not sure. Oh, the shot clock didn't start back. Now, what, what a circuitous route to get to Louisiana Lafayette. You know, you're a McDonald All-American. You go to Nevada, which is interesting. Uh, you're the Mountain West Newcomer of the Year, and you transfer and you go to Arizona. Uh, you're one year in Arizona, and you are the Pac-12 Sixth Man of the Year, and then you transfer and you land at Louisiana Lafayette, where his dad is a legend and in the Hall of Fame. And 
really interesting. He is a very talented young man. And, you know, Bob Marlin was talking about he just needs to get more comfortable with who he's playing with. And there's an offensive rebound and a putback from Jordan Brown. You know, it's interesting because I think sometimes the players get criticized for transferring too much, but he's had a few legitimate reasons. Eric Musselman left Nevada for Arkansas after his freshman year. There's a flush from Fabian White. Then he goes to Arizona. After sitting out a year, Sean Miller gets fired. So two coaches who recruited him have left for various reasons. Now he's coming back home to a program who recruited him. Bob Marlin had a home visit to him in Roseville, California when he was in high school. Uh, you know, fascinating uh, roster of coaches he's played for. You think about Eric Musselman and the fire and the passion. And, and then you think about Miller at Arizona. And then you put in Bob Marlin. Well, that is a lot of years of basketball experience that has already been poured into the young Jordan Brown. Six foot 11 inch, still considered a sophomore for Bob Marlin in the Raging Cajun. Well, his dad, Dion, played, was a very good player, 1,400 points, 900 rebounds. They went to two NCAA tournaments, one NIT semifinal from 80 to 84. And there you see his numbers, the sixth man of the year in the Pac-12, and Arizona now one of the best teams in the country this season. There's a feed inside. And a turnover. Excellent pass. There's a flush from Jordan Brown after a slow start. The former McDonald's All-American finding his game here in Houston. Uh, you talked about it earlier when you said these big guys for Louisiana Lafayette can really run. Boy, they fill those lanes extremely well. Into the game right now for Houston is for the first time this year, six foot four inch freshman out of Pearland, Ramon Walker. Offensive rebound, Juwan Roberts, White with an extra pass for Edwards. There's a foul. That's on Kentrell Garnett, the freshman walk on. So some opportunities tonight, Reed. We mentioned at the top, Marcus Sasser's out with turf toe. Reggie Cheney dealing with an unusual hand injury. John Houston compared it to a boxing injury. And then Tremont Mark, the shoulder injury, which had a miss three weeks. He came back, he played against Alabama. He's out tonight. White for three. Off the back iron, great tip in from Kyler Edwards. But Kyler Edwards has really turned into an outstanding rebounder, averaging 12.6 rebounds. Turnover, White, Alley, Oop! <laughs> Timeout, Louisiana. This turnover ratio right now, it's at four to one. Any point guard has got to be at least two to one assist to turnover. Three to one is outstanding. I, I run out of superlatives when you get to four to one. And since he's been a starter, He's 5-1, to one. in the last three games, he's 8-1. to one. Offensive foul, Kobe Julian called for the charge, and there he is, Ramon Walker, freshman from Paraland out of Shadow Creek High School, just down the road from Houston, makes his debut tonight, and he draws a charge. Well, you look at his right hand, and it's heavily taped. He suffered the same kind of hand injury that's got Reggie Chaney out right now, and he's been in a cast. In fact, he was warming up, and I was like, he didn't have on his jersey. I was like, who is that? They go, well, that's Ramon Walker. I was like, oh. Ramon Walker was an outstanding high school basketball player. Man, I saw him once, and he put up a jillion points that night. That's the third foul on Kobe Julian, a redshirt freshman from Baton Rouge. Roberts mishandles. Walker from the corner, halfway down. Rebounded by Jordan Brown. No Marcus Sasser tonight. Houston's 0 for 6 from deep. Good defense, Jamal Shedd. That's Isaiah Richards double team. And then Carlton just rips the ball away. Shedd with the mid-range. That's a shot he showed time and again in Tuscaloosa yeah, on Saturday. A 6-0 run for the Cougars, and I love that floater by Jamal Shedd. Open three for Charles. That's right there. Joe Charles from Karen Crow, Louisiana, Karen Crow High School. And Coach Marlin told us that he found out he was starting at La Tech right before the game and played very well. Walker, Moore, Carlton, Roberts, and Shed the five on the floor for Houston. Five to shoot for Jamal Shedd. He tries a three. 
offensive rebound, Carlton. Good adjustment in the air to finish. Boy, right now the Raging Cajuns are getting dominated on the board. 17 to 8. Now 10 offensive rebounds in the first half. Jordan Brown, left hand, left it long. Roberts with the rebound. Hand off for Tajay Moore. Moore a running start. Fouled on his way up. Tough to give Tajay Moore a running start. I like that play design for Houston. Uh, we got two players down. Tajay Moore is bouncing it back up, but uh, ended up with some goals up the nostrils of Jordan Brown. Jordan Brown receiving treatment. He's the notable of the four transfers in, but life in college basketball in 2021, Reed, you win some, you lose some. Two of their best players from last season transferred out. Malik Wilson to Texas Tech. Cedric Russell, who was all-conference, 17 points per game last year. He went to Ohio State, so they get four in, including Brown, but they lose two of their best from last season. Yeah, two big guys, and he was not just all-conference, he was first-team all-conference. That's Cedric Russell, and Malik Wilson was uh, the Sun Belt Conference freshman of the year, so you know, it's interesting as you watch this transfer portal, right? All the mid-major guys think they can go play major uh, Division One or Power Five basketball, and then a lot of Power Five guys go, I want to go down to mid-major and get some touches and try to put up some numbers. After the timeout, this is Duke Gay. Good defense from Houston. Well, that, that's just a terrible pass. You cannot throw a cross-court pass across your body with one hand and hook it and lob it and expect one of these Cougars not to run under it. Louisiana three for six from deep. But have only made two from inside the arc. There's a steal from Edwards. Good defense from White. Here comes Jamal Shep. Tell you what, Reed, they're doing a good job getting out in the passing lanes near midcourt. Uh, they have forced a ton of turnovers this year. They're averaging 11 steals per game. Right now they have four in the first half. Shed away from Harper. The floater again. Put back Fabian White. I feel like Jamal Shedd can get that shot almost at will. I think he can get to the paint and shoot that floater almost anytime he wants. Good screen. Greg Williams Jr. blocked by Fabian White. Come the Cougs with Jamal Shedd. Carlton, good position. Missed it. Rebounded by Louisiana. Ty Harper in the game, 55 in red. Freshman from Georgia. As Bob Marlin uses the depth of his bench. This is Dalcourt. Good to see him back on the court after yeah. he, he may have had an ankle injury. Received treatment, he's back. Went over to the bench, he got it retaken. That was a travel. Shot clock violation, one too many passes that time from Ty Harper. That is now 10 turnovers in the first half for the Raging Gage. Well, that's all set up by Jamal Shedd's ability to get into the paint. And he has such nice body control, even though I'd rather him come to a jump stop. When he jumps off one foot, he goes straight up and straight down. And well, he is just so difficult to keep in front of you. There were a few possessions on Saturday night where clock, shot clock would get down to six or seven, nothing really happening for Houston. He'd make a play with a drive and finish from six or seven feet. Shed, White. Now Shed. Tough finish for Jamal Shed. Strong. Uh, he is explosive. He gets low to the ground. Cougars now on a 7-0 run. Greg Williams Jr. Guarded by Shedd. Back for Caldwell. With just no movement by the team in red. There's another one of those hook passes. And a corner three there from the walk-on. Kentrell Garnett averaging eight points per game. One of three walk-on who have become starter caliber players in the long career of Bob Marlin. Not a former walk-on now leading the Sun Belt Conference in three-point shooting. 52% on the air for Kentrell Garnett. We haven't talked about it. We're five minutes left in the half. A lot of man-to-man -man defense tonight. We've seen a lot of zone from opponents against Houston this season. White from the corner. 
tough rebound, Tajay Moore. Yeah, I've already seen Tajay Moore go to the offensive glass more times in the first half of this game. He now has five offensive rebounds. That's a career high. But more times in the first half than I've seen him do all season long. And that's what he can excel at. He is so ridiculously athletic that he is very, very difficult when he gets a running start to keep off of the glass. He's going to touch the ball. He's going to put his hand on misses. We saw Northwestern State play an exclusive zone against Houston the entire 40 minutes. We saw Bryant use it at different times. It's been all man-to-man -man so far for Louisiana. Greg Williams, Jr. Jordan Brown back on the floor. Boy, Rachel Cajuns ought to give him a touch quickly. Cross-court pass, Kentrell Garnett. Top of the key name, Greg Williams, Jr., the transfer from St. John's. Good speed. Alley-oop attempt for Brown. The feed was a little bit off. Shot clock violation again. Needs to be more awareness from Louisiana when the shot clock's winding down. Yeah, Bob Marlin saying that ball touched the rim. It did not. It was an alley-oop, and the player's arm hit the rim, but the ball did not. That is a good call by Terry Oglesby and his crew. Bob Marlin is not going to like it, but when he sees that on tape, he'll realize that was the right call. Got a good crew tonight. Crew Chief Terry Oglesby, referees Jason Baker and Doug Sermons. The third shot clock violation for Louisiana. Right idea, bad pass. Uh, you, you don't just throw it wherever you want to throw it. You wait and let Josh Carlton set up and then see where the defense is. And you always, when you feed the post, throw the ball away from the defense. If he's on the low side, throw it to his right hand. If he's on the high side, throw it to his left hand. But don't just throw it wherever you want him and expect him to be able to go get it. Ty Harper returns. Greg Williams Jr. gets a break. Carlton handing off for Edwards. Excellent pass for Carlton, who missed the dunk. Caldwell rebounds. Well, that was a great catch by Josh Carlton. Twelve-point lead, but the Cougars not as crisp offensively as we've seen them recently. And there is a three. Ty Harper, the freshman from Norcross, Georgia, seldom used this season, but impressive shot. High screen, Edwards. Moore, White. Tajay Moore, great quickness. Underhand pass, kicked out. Walker missed the three. Moore taps the rebound, Carlton with the finish. Yes, six offensive rebounds in the first half. Tajay Moore has now 13 offensive rebounds on 18 missed shots. That is an outstanding rebounding percentage. Great ball fake. Kick out, another good fake. Missed three from Jury Caldwell, rebounded by Fabian White. Nice box out down low by Ramon Walker. That was an excellent pass. Josh Carlton has good hands. There aren't a lot of big guys that you can fire a pass that hard into that much traffic and expect him to catch it. from deep. Sasser, 25 points in the one-point loss to Alabama on Wednesday, his fourth 20-point game of the season. Carlton makes both, and Marlin has used the bench. Another three from Harper, missed it. Moore with the rebound. Shed with White. Moore, good close out on Edwards. Carlton finds White. Great chin foul. Yeah, Fabian White missed an opportunity. He realized that he was spotted up on the weak side. Josh Carlton got double teamed, and nobody rotated, and the entire weak side was open. Boy, if immediately Fabian White would have dove to the basket, he would have had a dunk, and he realized it. He just realized it late. And I wouldn't be surprised if next time they double teamed Josh White, we don't see a post-to-post -post pass and a dunk. White makes the first, 10 points, 5 rebounds. It was the all-tournament team at the Maui Invitational in Las Vegas. 
It's a Cougar games record if he plays in 26 games this season. That record currently held by Galen Robinson Jr. And all of this after he tore his ACL early last season. Offensive foul on the perimeter is Greg Williams Jr. And likely to finish his career Fabian White as not only the Cougars played the most games in the program history, but also the winningest player in program history. And that is quite an accomplishment for the senior from Atascocito, Texas. A break for Josh Carlton, his first start tonight in place of the injured Reggie Cheney. Shed with Edwards, White, Moore, and Juwan Roberts. Moore. White getting involved in the offense. They're running most of these sets through Fabian White. Edwards off a screen. Another missed three. Rebound Joe Charles for Louisiana. Interesting the time for Ty Harper. Top for the key, missed three from Joe Charles. There's an offensive rebound, Jordan Brown. He'll spin against three and draw a foul. Joe Charles has made 50% of his three-pointers. He's eight for 16, he's made one tonight. Not the most classic release you'll ever see, but it has been effective and he's shooting a high percentage, six foot seven inch freshman out of Louisiana. Another guy who had to pay his dues, he broke his kneecap in high school and then missed his senior year due to COVID. So really missed two years of competitive basketball. Jordan Brown, who's picked up seven rebounds in the early going. Brown dealt with foul trouble. He put up 30 points in the loss to Louisiana Tech, 13 of 18 shooting in the 25 minutes. Only four points. I thought he had more than that. He saw like an alley -oop. He had one in transition. And for some reason, I thought he was, if not in double figures, close to it, but not so much. Charles with Harper. Harper getting extended minutes. He's average, only five minutes per game, 55 in red, but he made the three soon after coming off. Missed left handed it. Florida from Brown. The putback is there for Joe Charles. Kelvin Sampson furious, double teamed the post, and Jordan Brown was able to spin out of the double team and split it and put his team at a rebounding disadvantage. There's a three from Tajay Moore off a wonderful feed from Jamal Shea. Houston missed its first three from beyond the arc before that three from Tajay Moore. Tajay Moore having himself a ball game, flirting with a double-double, 10 and 7, and we're not even to the halftime buzzer yet. That's a missed turnaround with the right hand. Coach Marlin said Brown can score with his left and his right. We've seen him use both hands tonight. And he can turn over his left shoulder and his right shoulder. And that shot looked bad, but that was a deflection by Fabian White. He's the real deal. He, he is a legitimate basketball player. It'll be fun to watch him develop further under Bob Marlin. Rebound from Tajay Moore. He's everywhere tonight. He, got, he just kind of flashes into the picture, right? You're looking at the ball and all of a sudden, there goes Tajay Moore. And keep an eye in four and white for Houston. Anytime a ball is put up for Houston, he's looking for that offensive rebound. He's down in the right corner of your screen right now. White hands off, three seconds left. Kyler Edwards got the roll to end the first half. Houston extends the lead to eight at halftime. Yeah, really good first half for the Houston Cougars. Kyler Edwards and his teammates were outstanding. Doing very well. Josh Carlton is nine as well. And then Jordan Brown, the former five-star recruit, doing it more on the defensive end, Reed. Seven rebounds, three blocks, only four points. Yeah, has really struggled to get a clean look at the basket. Tremendous balance by the Cougars. That in Fabian White's eight points. And you've got four players that scored between eight and ten points. And you know, that's a nice job of taking up the slack of the long list of guys who are not playing in this game. Triple team, that's a travel. Well, he had 30 points in Ruston on Saturday, 13 of 18 from the field, but he's been limited tonight, only four points for Jordan Brown. Uh, if you're going to make a move in the post, if you're Jordan Brown, you've got to do it as soon as the ball hits your hand. You've got to spin because you know a double, or in that case, a triple team's coming your way.
Shed off for Fabian White. They stick with man to man. We were talking at halftime, potentially a zone here in the second half for Louisiana. The Cougars without Marcus Sasser, just one for 11 from the three point line, suggests that you might want to try a tight two three zone if you're Bob Marley. Jordan Brown with his fourth block of the night. Attack just rolls off the rim nearly there for Duque. Too far ahead of Carlton. But on the other hand, Reed, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? The man-to-man yeah. -man led to this shooting from Houston, so maybe he says, why maybe invite more open threes? I would respond to that by saying, you're down 18. You're down 18. So it is broke. So it's not working. <laughs> yes, it's not right? working. <laughs> but the point you make is valid. If you're not a 2-3 zone, if that's not part of your identity, not part of who you are, then don't change that for this one game. Go, go ahead and play and try to execute your system on both ends of the court. Kobe Julian picked up three fouls in the first half. He's back on the court, number four in red. Back iron miss from Duque. Louisiana basketball. Vivian White helped up by two Cajuns. Uh, the Raging Cajuns are doing a lot of standing. Uh, the, you got four guys standing on the floor looking at whoever has the ball. That, that is not a formula for success against a team as good defensively as the Houston Cougars. You need to get some movement, some cross screens, some down screens, some on the ball. You need to do something to get the defensive players moving and shifting. Tough night for Kobe Julian picking up those early fouls. He was excellent against Alabama in an exhibition game where Louisiana led deep in the second half before Alabama pulled away. Showing the uh, ceiling maybe for Louisiana going to Alabama and giving the title they could handle. They dribble handoff for Greg Williams Jr. Excellent. That's White, 30 feet from the hoop, nearly with the steal. And Williams was surprised. I mean, there's been a double team on every single on-the-ball screen. You can't be surprised by that, and if you are, then perhaps you're not mentally ready to play in this game. Brown leads the inbound pass to Duque from Dakar, Senegal, 6'9", 235. Greg Williams Jr. for three, missed it. Offensive rebound for Duguay. Williams. Good pass. Alley-oop and a throw down for Jordan Brown, who was behind him, but no problem for the 6'11 forward from Roseville, California. A terrific pass by Greg Williams, making up for the previous bad play. White from the corner, short. Good box out that time. Another offensive rebound for Tajay Moore, and White follows it up with the layup. And Tajay Moore is now one rebound away from a double-double. Foul underneath as Carlton battled for position with Jordan Brown. So Brown, we talked about it earlier. Some players can have a quiet double figure night. He's at the most emphatic six points I can remember. Yeah, there's no doubt. I believe six points on three dunks. Excellent closeout from Edwards on Kobe Julia who stepped out. Excellent defense from Kyler Edwards. Julian described as the bulldog of this team. And I think this Louisiana offense it's just never found a rhythm tonight, Reed. Really. They fell behind 6-0, had four shot clock violations, no sustained run and rhythm. White faces up, kick out for more, extra pass, Jamal Shedd. I'm here to tell you, when Jamal Shedd starts shooting that ball between 35 and 40%, he's going to be as good of a point guard as there is in the American Athletic Conference. Gay attacks, rejected by White. And now Brown to the free throw line after the offensive rebound. Tajay Moore, one rebound away from his first career double-double. Free throw is coming for Jordan Brown, the transfer from Arizona. One year at Arizona, one year at Nevada.
was the number 19 overall recruit in 2018, a McDonald's All-American. And his dad, Dion, was a star in Louisiana in the early 80s, two NCAA tournaments, one NIT semifinal. He's now in the Louisiana Hall of Fame. 1,400 points and 900 plus rebounds in his career. Look, I, I don't know the young man, and I'm just gonna say this generally, but oh, man, that much instability that early in a career is really hard to get into any sort of development, player development mode because you've played so many different systems. He is really gonna benefit from sticking with Bob Marlin for a couple of years. White finds Edwards. Missed it. White with the offensive rebound. And it's Houston basketball. Louisiana's trying its best. They have three or four red shirts under the basket trying to clean up the defensive glass, but against this Houston rebounding core, it's difficult. And Tajay Moore limping over there on the bench. I think, I, I don't think it's a joint. I think he got kneed in the thigh. And so they'll rub that, he'll walk it off and be back in. Well, he has been so aggressive. Hey, this may be the best I've seen him use his athleticism. And look, the fans love the alley-oops and all of that. But he's used it defensively. He's used it chasing down rebounds. It is crazy how many times you and I are watching the action. And he literally just flashes into the scene and comes out with the ball. Edwards misses. Ramon Walker, the freshman from Pearland, back in the game. Quick trigger three. That's the walk on Kentrell Garnett, shooting 52% from deep this season. And the transfer of Cedric Russell to, uh, gave an opportunity for Kentrell to step up and play. He has taken full advantage of that opportunity. Shed swings it to the corner. Ramon Walker Jr. in the paint. Good block. A fifth block tonight for Jordan Brown. It's funny, this morning, Coach Marlin told me he could block more shots. He has five blocks tonight. So hopefully he's but, you know, sharing that, you know. But look, that goes back to what I was talking about, about stability. You, you know, you have a kid long enough to say, hey, look, here's what you do well. Here's a development option that used to be the strength of schedule. And they break wins and losses into good wins and bad losses based upon quadrant one, two, three, and four. It also takes into consideration your efficiency, how efficient you played points scored per 100 possessions, points allowed per 100 possessions, and then the results of the game. And it is the primary tool the NCAA has now adopted to use uh, for seeding in the NCAA tournament. Jordan Brown finishing with the left hand. We mentioned he can finish with the left and the right. His former team at the top. Now Baylor, a 20-point win over Villanova. They held Nova to 36. Did you see 36. the replay? Huh? Is that crazy? That was a nice play by Jordan Brown. Another turnover. And that's the game you look at it, you think, okay, something happened. Do they have food poisoning? And it just felt like a straight-up mono a mono loss. As Shed finishes, plus the foul. Lightning quick, incredibly strong. Strong upper body, lower body, the ability to power through you. I tell you what, he is blossoming. I say this every broadcast. He is blossoming into a superstar before our very eyes. Could not be higher on a young player than I am on Jamal Shedd. Coach Sampson was asked about Shedd and the media availability this week. He usually gives a comprehensive answer, the good and the bad. He said his decision making has to be better at the end of the game, but he is just scratching the surface. He plays well at times, and that's a tough environment playing in front of 15,000 people. And he dealt with foul trouble in the second half, and I thought he did a good job to stay in the game and not foul out. Let me translate what Coach Sampson said. Oh, man, he's been great. I'm ecstatic. That's unbelievably great. He's been tremendous. That, that's what when Coach Sampson does. Well, he's got a lot of things to work on. Yes. That, that's what he's really saying. Look, the young man, the last three games, has an 8-1 to one turnover to assist ratio. That, that is spectacular. And one of those games is down Alabama where you lost by a point. There's the walk on nearly taking it coast to coast. Kentrell Garnett misses. Tyler Edwards. Excellent defense there from Trajan Wesley, number three for Louisiana. Duguay walks into a three. Well, we talked about it coming out of the locker room. Expected to see Louisiana Lafayette try to score more baskets in transition. And Already here in the first six minutes, we've seen a lot of a lot more open court basketball than we saw in the first half. 
Jamal Shedd. Back for Edwards. Carlton draws a double team. Tajay Moore. In for Carlton. What a team possession that was for Houston. Uh, Josh Carlton catches almost everything that's thrown to him. I'm really impressed with his soft hands. Inside and out, you had Moore bypassing the three. Strong take and finish. Trajan Wesley, he's from Navasota, Texas, between College Station and Brenham up the road. Went to Cy Falls High School. It's a homecoming of sorts for Trajan Wesley, who just scored. You know, that leg is still bother bothering Tajay Moore. And Ramon Walker checks in for him. John Houston over there on the sidelines looking at it. Jordan. Jawan Roberts. And then a debut for Ramon Walker Jr. who had not played this season. He's looked good off the bench. Again, no Marcus Sasser. Reggie Chaney and Tremont Mark out tonight due to injury. Carlton double team to reach in foul. That's the fourth foul there on Kobe Julian. Going into each game, the Cougars have as a goal that they want to have an offensive rebounding efficiency of 50%. They want to go get 50% of their misses. So far in this game, they're at almost 70%. They have missed 25 shots and they have 16 offensive rebounds. That will win you some games. Shed will attack. High screen Roberts, Shed. Edwards for Fabian White. White with three left on the shot clock. Okay, Reed, so is there anything these teams can be doing? But the book is out. Everyone knows Houston's an amazing offensive rebounding team. Is there anything that these opposing teams can do? Yeah, you, I keep coming back to the same thing, is that you're not keeping them off the glass running a man-to-man. -man. The Cougars are not shooting the ball well from the three-point line. I would try a 2-3 zone. I'd be very disciplined and ring that, that restricted arc, put a body everywhere, and give it a shot. I would try it. Uh, you don't have to stay in it. Uh, this has been successful in the second half, is getting points in transition for the Raging Cajun. That's Antoine Jones, a sophomore from Orlando, one of the transfers. And that is the transition opportunity they've been looking for all night. Five fast break points on the night for Louisiana. Uh, Kevin Sampson came all the way out to half court, and Jason Baker walked him all the way back. Kevin Sampson saying, no, this was completely on top of the ball. Uh, there was not much contact there. It was a double pump, and sometimes in fast break basketball, officials anticipate a foul, right? So as they're going up, the ref's inhaling you know, just getting ready to blow the whistle. That might have been what happened there, but uh, Kevin Sampson got all the walk all the way back to the bench and did nothing to change his opinion. And on the prior possession, the deep three from Kobe Julian, redshirt freshman from Baton Rouge. He's playing with four fouls. He hit the three. A big player for Bob Marlin and these Cajuns out there with four fouls. Number four in red. Shed attacks. Tough finish, possible goaltending. It might be the sixth block for Jordan Brown. Back-to-back -back transition points for the Ragin' Cajuns. But Jamal Shedd is dribble penetrating. When he does, somebody has to rotate back. And well, right now, the scab is a little fresh on non-goaltending calls for this Houston basketball team. But what a nice adjustment by Louisiana Lafayette. We talked about it, that they needed to get out and get scoring opportunities before the Cougars had an opportunity to set up their defense. And that is exactly what Bob Moreland's team has been doing. In some ways, an ace up the sleeve. Antoine Jones did not play the last two games against Tech or McNeese due to a coach's decision. He's a sophomore from Orlando. Two-time transfer, started his career at Memphis in the American, then went to Creighton. Now he's in his first season, one of four transfers, but he's been unleashed for the transition here in the second half. White attacks, that's an offensive foul. That's a good call, good rotation on the weak side, feet outside of the restricted arc, and boy, a little bit of a momentum shift right now for the Raging.
got out and they're playing transition basketball and it's all been spurred on by the running of the floor of Antoine Jones, a player you pointed out hadn't played in the last two games, but boy, he has really changed the tempo of this game. Antoine Jones started his year at Creighton. Limited playing time, most minutes this year, 15 and a start against Jackson State. Here's Jordan Brown, quiet offensively, but five blocks on the defensive end for 21 and red. Knocked away, picked up by Tajay Moore. Here's Edwards for three. That's long. Rebound pulled in by Greg Williams Jr. Again, better tempo from the Cajuns. Yeah, better transition defense by the Cougars that time. Halfway down would have been back-to-back -back threes from Kobe Julian, who stays out there with four fouls. Jamal Shedd fouled on his way up. Greg Williams Jr. with the foul. How many times this game have I said Jamal Shedd can get to the paint anytime he wants? Uh, Five it, or six? Yeah, it, it's amazing. I mean, he just simply has the ability to get low. He gets his left shoulder past the defense. See him even throw it up. He was expecting someone to be there, and he'd cleared so much that there wasn't even anybody there to bump into. Shed makes the first. 11 points for Shed, plus four assists. Free throws right now for Houston, eight for 13. This continues to be an Achilles heel of this team. And if there's an area uh, as a team, as a whole, in which they need to improve, boy, it is at the free throw line. They're shooting just about 60%, and uh, free throws will lose you games. And boy, that's really what happened in the Alabama game. They were 11 for 19 in differential scoring points of plus 13 from the free throw line. That is tough to overcome, especially when you're on the road. By the way, Kobe Julian playing with three fouls. Sometimes the scorekeepers correct that at halftime after an assistant coach brings it up. Julian has three, not four. Shot clock at five. White with the steal, simply stripping Greg Williams Jr. I don't know whether that was a block shot or a steal. He <laughs> just took the ball out of his hands. White, Tajay Moore from the corner. Another rebound for Jordan Brown. And Cougars just two. Oh, that's a careless mistake. Two for 16 behind the line for the Cougars. Sloppy pass from Jordan Brown. He left it behind Greg Williams Jr. Frustration there for Louisiana. Now the Cougars need a good offensive possession. Uh, they, they have gotten a lot of good looks over here, especially on the left side of the court for Kyler Edder, Edwards and Tajay Moore, open three-pointers. Uh, just two for 16. That was a good time to slam that ball back inside to Josh Carlton. Cougars missing Marcus Sasser, Reggie Cheney, and Tremont Mark. Each of the three out due to injury. Moore missed the floater. Shed with the rebound. Good patience. Shed. Excellent feed for Carlton for the flush. Carlton has 13 to lead Houston. The lead back to 15. Charles for Jordan Brown. He tries a three, and he got it. He's a good three-point shooter, Jordan Brown. Over 40% from beyond the arc on the season. Well, he looked better than that, right? I mean, he's just three for seven, but uh, he hesitated, like, should I shoot this? And then his release was beautiful. Five blocks, 13 points. A few dunks for Jordan Brown. He showcased a lot tonight. Edwards. Roberts draws the foul, a reach in that time by Joe Charles. Uh, Houston may need a timeout. Jamal Shedd is gassed. Uh, that time they rotated over, let Kyler Edwards initiate the offense, but uh, Shedd has really done a lot of work in this game, and you can see how he's standing his body language under the basket. He needs a break. Edwards back for Shedd. Houston with 16 points since halftime. Offensive foul called on Shed, drawn there by Trajan Wesley, the Cy Falls product. It's a good call. And 
Now you look over there on the bench, and I'm not sure there's a lot of people to put in for Jamal Shedd. You can put Fabian White back in and run with really just one guard in Kyler Edwards, but well, this is where the depleted roster with no Sasser and yeah, see, that's two mistakes in a row. And they need to get him out and get him a breather. Jamal Shedd, 29 minutes. He and Kyler Edwards both with 29 to lead Houston. He's got an under eight timeout coming in 50 seconds, and I think that's what Kelvin's trying to do is not burn a timeout and just wait for the next media break. But he is tired. Kentrell Garnett, he's a freshman guard out of Catholic High School in Baton Rouge. He's a walk-on, and I asked Coach Marlin, how rare is it for a walk-on to become a starter caliber player? He said, I had two of them at Sam Houston. There's an offensive rebound and a putback there for Joe Charles. Hey, how about this raging Cajun team? Bob, Bar Bob Marlin's team has grinded and fought and clawed and got themselves back into this basketball game. Down 18 at halftime, now down by just 10, and clearly the momentum with the Raging Cajuns. And it's very different. Hofstra came in opening night after the sixth Final Four banner was hung. They had a big lead at halftime, double-digit lead late. They could not hang on, lost in overtime. But the other opponents that have come to Fertitta Center have each fallen behind, have not mounted a comeback. This was an 18-point lead for Houston at halftime. But not much going right for Louisiana Lafayette. They have just fought their way back into this game. 24-16 in favor of Louisiana since halftime. Good defense. Wesley will attack. Garnett for three. Louisiana has cut it to seven. The walk-on Kentrell Garnett. The best three-point shooter so far this season in the Sun Belt. They're certainly within striking distance. Kentrell Garnett, he's from Donaldsonville, Louisiana, Catholic High School in Baton Rouge. He's four for five from deep, 52% on the season. Went four for four against Marshall, hit four threes against New Orleans a few weeks ago. All this from a former walk-off. Two-three zone coming out of that timeout. That's a really good adjustment by Bob Marlin. Saves the zone for under eight minutes left in the second half. Shed with Tajay Moore. Bounce pass into White. Houston missing three key players in Sasser, Cheney, and Mark. Contested three, missed by Edwards. Rebound pulled in by Jordan Brown. Eleven rebounds for Jordan Brown, plus five blocks for the former Arizona Wildcat. Here's Brown, 21 in red. Open three from Duguay. That would have brought it down to four, rebounded by Shed. Cougars just two for 17 behind the three-point line. Kyler Edwards 0 for five. Now they can't settle for a jump shot. They've got to attack the high post in the short corner. Tajay Moore. Bounce pass into Carlton. Edwards for Shed. Tajay Moore, catch and shoot. Short, another rebound, Jordan Brown. He's really dominated the glass here yeah, in the second he, half. He sure has, and that's two possessions in a row. That rebounding was outstanding for Louisiana Lafayette. Boy, a big possession here defensively for the Cougars. Brown had 16 and 16 against McNeese. Tonight he's got 12 rebounds to go with 13 points. There's an air ball. Looks down with a smile after that miss, Contrell Garnett. He wasn't ready to shoot. You, you know, when you're a shooter like Garnett, you've got to be locked and loaded. You've got to have your body in position to where you catch it in rhythm and step into your shot. That time, it almost surprised him. You know, you and I talk about big men being ready to catch the ball. Well, that time, uh, the guard was not ready to catch the ball and shoot. He's not going to drive. you, you got to run him off the line. As good a three-point shooter as he is, 52%. He's only attempted two free throws the entire season. That's Kentrell. Garnett. White attacks and misses. Carlton with the offensive rebound. A foul underneath. Kobe Julian has returned with three fouls. Fifth team foul against Louisiana. It's 
Tajay Moore draws the foul against Trajan Wesley, the former Cy Falls basketball player. Back-to-back -back fouls against Louisiana. 16 fouls on the Raging Cajuns. Into White. And that one got stuck between the rim and the glass. Here comes Garnett on the break. That's another very good block. Fabian White turning away Kobe Julian. More for Kyler Edwards. Halfway down. Carlton offensive rebound. And the dunk snaps an 8 nothing run. Seventeen offensive boards for Houston. Jordan Brown, good move. Offensive rebound from Duguay. And really, Reed, for the second half, you would think that the team in red is Houston. The team in white might be the visitors from Lafayette. Yeah, a little bit of sign of life that last time down. A good job of executing against the zone defense. But, boy, uh, Louisiana Lafayette, we've seen it again and again here in the second half. They just keep attacking in transition. And a nice piece of transition defense that time by Fabian Wide and yet another offensive rebound for Josh Carlton. Duguay described as an experienced older physical player can get eight to ten rebounds average nine and eight last year great offensive rebounder big expectations for Duguay tonight if Louisiana was going to pull the upset coach Marlin thought he would need a big night the Cougars dominating the glass in the first half. Now they're only up by seven, plus seven in the rebounding differential. Three points for Duguay. Stick with the zone. White, Tajay Moore. Mid-range from Tajay Moore. Short, another rebound for Jordan Brown. 13 boards plus 13 points for Jordan Brown. Well, he's having himself a basketball game. He's got to have at least six block shots. I don't know if they gave him credit for that last one, but he has had a basketball game. Now, we looked at it in the break. We thought it might have been goaltending, but he did not touch it until after it hit the glass and then potentially grazed the rim. Trajan Wesley. Rolled off the rim. That would have been a tough shot. And it's Houston basketball after the miss from Wesley. And that was not a good shot selection by Trajan Wesley. He forced that one. Bob Marlin a little bit frustrated with that trip down the court. Boy, attack this high post. Throw the ball inside. Go high, low. And when you catch the ball at the high post, turn and face the defense. Shed. Reach-in foul by Garnett. Second foul on Kentrell Garnett. Now Joe Charles will return. Charles Shedd has been perfect from the free throw line. Three for three in this game. He's got 12 points, five rebounds, and five assists. A break for Duque, who heads to the bench for Louisiana. Jamal Shedd. Sophomore from Maynard High School, Maynard, Texas. Up to 13 points plus five rebounds and five assists. A lot of people expected a big win for Houston tonight. They've been so good over the years after defeat. But tough when you're missing Marcus Sasser, Reggie Chaney, and Tremont Markin. Excellent adjustments from Bob Marlin and the Louisiana coaching staff since halftime. It was an 18-point deficit, and Louisiana's made it a game. The 22 consecutive games have been won by an average margin of 21 points coming off of a loss, the Cougars. Joe Charles hands it off for Jordan Brown. Another double team sent to Brown. Kobe Julian, Brown, short. Potential offensive rebound tapped out by Kobe Julian, but it's out. And under four minutes left, we have a nine-point game. Louisiana pulled it within seven. 
They had a chance to get a shoulder injury. Reggie Chaney has battled through an unusual hand injury this season. Marcus Sasser out with, it's been described to us as turf toe. Tyler Edwards with 10 points and five rebounds. Two Cougars are close to a double-double. Tajay Moore and Josh Carlton. Memphis leading Alabama 37-32. That would be an important win for Memphis. Struggled this season. Moore finds Edwards. Off the mark from Tyler Edwards. Tyler Edwards really struggling to make a shot. He is now 0 for 7 from behind the line and 5 for 16 in the game. He's frustrated. He, he's, he's shaking his head and got his hands on his hips. And he's had a lot of clean looks. He's had some wide open looks, especially here in the second half. Cougars just 2 for 20 from behind the three-point line with Marcus Sasser sitting over on the bench in the street clothes. Reed, it feels like Louisiana has been more committed on the glass in the second half. Every missed shot, I'm seeing three red jerseys go for the loose ball. They've done a great job. They were getting pounded on the boards in the first half. Now they're back down to 10, but it was just a seven or eight rebound differential for most of this half. Shed inbounds to Tajay Moore. Nine point game, White for Carlton for two. Josh Carlton, 17 points tonight. That's what we were talking about. When you attack the high post, turn and look at the basket. Make that center come up and commit. And then you've got Josh Carlton all by himself. First start of the season for Josh Carlton. And there's a steal for Kyler Edwards as Gay tried the backdoor cut. Edwards, smart decision back to Jamal Shea. Carlton, 17 points and eight rebounds. 7 of 12 from the field. They stick with the zone under three minutes left. Reach in foul by Kentrell Garnett. And here's that play we were talking about. Good execution. Watch Fabian White. When he catches the ball at the high post, he turns and looks. That forces Brown to commit and come up and guard him. Catch the ball, turn and look. That draws him up, leaves Josh Carlton down there by himself. Very good execution. Shed makes the first, he has 15. Josh Carlton, four years at UConn, 115 games. Best season statistically, nine points and 59 total blocks a three years ago. Experience, exclusively off the bench before tonight. And with Sasser, Chaney, and March out, Carlton enjoying his first start. Shed makes both, he has 16 points tonight. His perfect seven for seven from the line. To go along with five rebounds and five assists. Louisiana was red hot. Suddenly cold as of late. Brown sets the screen and rolls towards the post. It's double team thrown at Brown. Tip pass. Kirk Julian missed it. Loose ball picked up by Brown. A great hustle by Brown. That was... A good effort, tipped the ball. There were three white shirts. He was the only one down there battling and came out with that offensive rebound. Well, that's 14 rebounds uh, for the big sophomore for Louisiana Lafayette. 16 and 16 against McNeese last week for Jordan Brown. Trajan Wesley, the Houstonian, finishing. Out of Navasoto, just north of town. Yeah, that is the first defensive breakdown I've seen on an all, on the ball screen by the Cougars this year. And Josh Carlton did not step out, did nothing, was stuck in no man's land. Easy basket for Louisiana. Back to an 11-point game. Shed for White. Tajay Moore from the corner. Edwards' offensive rebound. Reach and foul on Kentrell Garnett. That's his fourth. Well, you, you know, when you're designed to shoot threes when you're open, you just keep shooting. But for crying out loud, two for 21, and they are wide open, not contested, nobody near them, and it's almost as if Louisiana is just conceding that shot and nobody can knock it down. Edwards to the free throw line. His first free throws this evening. It's the first. 
Coach Sampson has said about free throw shooting, it's not for a lack of practice. He said we take as many free throws as any team in the country. They worked on hundreds the days before the Alabama game. He said it's just tough to replicate an empty gym versus 15,000 in Tuscaloosa. Thirteen point lead, a minute forty-five remains. Steal from Tajay Moore. Moore for two. Brown tries a three. That's short. Garnett with the rebound. Missed the ten footer. Hustles for the rebound. Misses a three, Moore with another rebound, and there is his double-double. Tajay Moore does the Euro step. He looks like an Olympic triple jumper, <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, he, he covers about 15 feet with the Euro step. Watch how much distance he covers. Picks that ball up. He's just inside the three-point line. <laughs> Look at that stride. Holy smokes, that hurts my knees just watching. Remarkable, his first career double-double for Tajay Moore. 12 points and 10 rebounds. He had a nice career at Cal State Bakersfield. Against playing for Rod Barnes, a coach that Kelvin Sampson respects. Moore was at, Barnes was at Ole Miss when Kelvin Sampson was at Oklahoma. Barnes was an assistant and was at Texas Tech for years. And has been around the state of Texas basketball for a long, long time. Likely in a losing effort for Trey John Wesley, but the junior from Navasoto has had a nice night. Continues to attack. Five foot nine. So a minute six left. Reed Geddes, what are your takeaways from the showing tonight from Houston, and what can Louisiana build upon from this road test? Well, for Louisiana Lafayette, there's a lot of positives. They, they had a possibility, the potential, just like everyone else who has come into Fertitta Center this year, they were on the verge of getting run out of the gym. Uh, and they didn't. They dug in. They, they tightened up their shoes. They battled. They fought. They got back in this game, and they were within seven and had a lot of opportunities to cut it, you know, to five and to four. And so a lot of positives from Bob Marlin's team. The Cougars... A lot of their positives also. You had three of your top six players not play. Everybody that played had double figures. You had tremendous bounce. Now, it wasn't the prettiest game. It wasn't the most efficient game. Uh, but a win is a win is a win. Saved by Moore. Traveling the call against Josh Charlton. They will let you up fake, and you can move both feet. But when you move both feet, you're going to have to go up. If you're going to take a step like that, you cannot move both feet and then stop and fake. They will call that traveling every time. Miss three from Kobe Julian. Five-second difference between the clocks. Houston tested tonight. They've been outscored in the second half. But the 18-point cushion will be enough. Missing Marcus Sasser, Reggie Chaney, and Tremont Mark, Houston. We'll make it 32 straight home wins, the fourth longest active streak in the country. Edwards with the feed inside, turnover with 10 seconds left. Well, Josh Carlton had a terrific basketball game. 17 points, eight rebounds. Tajay Moore was terrific with a double-double. You know, if I had to pick a player of the game, I would go with Jamal Shedd and his 16 points, five rebounds, and five assists. And he was outstanding on the defense again. Missed three from Trajan Wesley, and Houston holds on. A 15-point win tested by Louisiana old friends Bob Marlin and Kelvin Sampson exchange pleasantries. Houston reduced to a seven-man rotation, missing Sasser, Cheney, and...